God save you. About those other things. I'll get looking for those things then. Excellent. God be with you. God's blessings. But what can I do for you? You must be that lucky fellow everyone's talking about. Lady Luck has been good to me lately, true enough. But that can change quicker than you know. People say that you get help from a lucky charm. Is that not allowed? No, it is. It just interests me, that's all. Why? I could use a paw like that myself. Then go to the knacker. I'm sure he'll get you one. I'd like to try that luck of yours. Let's play for your talisman. <laughs> As you wish. My talisman against your groschen. Sure. There'd be no point in it otherwise. See you later. <laughs> we'll see his side lady look is up. Your turn. Well, seems my looks run out. Damn it. See you now at last. I reckon that cat's paw don't bring luck anymore. <laughs> Not to you, anyway. So, thanks for the game. I went to look for those items you wanted. Splendid! Splendid! So, show me what you've got there. One cat paw for luck. Wonderful! How did you obtain it? You wouldn't believe it. I won it from him. Oh, no, you don't! Now the talisman won't bring its owner luck anymore. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, well, luckily it's a cat's paw, so it has other uses. That will be all for now. About that recipe? Uh, yes. See you later. Yeah!
My humble greetings. How may I serve you? Do you want something? I do. And you look like the kind of fellow who knows a thing or two and wouldn't mind a bit of work that's not entirely... Well... Honest. What's it about? I'm looking for someone who knows how to dip her pockets. For a... Reward, of course. That's not for me. Farewell. Take care. God save you, good knight. What can I do for you? It doesn't look good. What? What are you talking about? Your tooth. I bet it hurts a lot, doesn't it? How do you know about that? As a practitioner of the healing arts, I recognise the signs of a sick tooth. You have a bloated face, you're sweating, and the way you breathe is absolutely typical of the condition. You're a physician? Isn't that what I said? And if I can give you some advice, you should have it removed. There's a blacksmith down in the town. No, no, no. There's no way I'm putting myself in the hands of that butcher. I understand. But look here. I know about healing. I can go along with you and make sure everything goes as it should. You do that? Of course. Jesus Christ. I'm a grown man and I need an escort. You don't have to be embarrassed. Every man in the world's afraid of having his teeth pulled. I know, but even so... Let's go, then, and get this over with. Jesus, it's going to be really painful, isn't it? Don't worry. It will hurt a little, but then you'll feel relieved. You'll see. If you say so. I don't know. Isn't that a waste of time? Maybe it'll go away on its own. Are you mad? It won't go away, it'll just get worse. The sooner we get it out, the better. 
Yes, yes, you're right. I can't. It's embarrassing. I'm a coward, and I won't be able to handle it. Now we're almost there. Just be a man about it. You're right. Let's go. All right. Let's do it. Hold him tight. Let's do it. <laughs> ah, look. Jesus it's Christ, out. The agony. They want to keep it as what a memento. I, I love it. This? Oh. All right. Yeah. I went to look for those items you wanted. Splendid! Splendid! So, show me what you've got there. The Tooth of Layman Procopius? Which definitely isn't holy. It isn't. But then again, one day, it could be. You never know what course a man's life might take. I suppose not. But it wasn't easy to get. So if anyone's the miracle worker here, it's me. Calm now. Don't upset me. That will be all for now. God be with you. Can I take a look inside the monastery? What's got into you, boy? The grounds inside the monastery belong to the monks of the Order of Saint Benedict. 
No others shall pass. I've been sent here from Talmberg. I'm to speak with the one responsible for construction. That'd be the master builder. Or with our brother, the overseer. What matter is it you're here about? It has to do with the stone for construction. Ah, then that's a matter of supply. You'll want to talk to the overseer. He knows more about that sort of thing. His study is right above us, more or less. Go up the steps to the left and then head back in this direction, almost the whole way. May the Lord watch over you.
I hope I can be of some humble service to you. I've come in the name of Sir Divish. I'd like to have a look around the spot where the accident happened. And why is Sir Divish interested in that regrettable accident? He'd like to know what role the masonry had in it, or at least its quality. I guess it played a crucial role, but I don't intend to stand in the way of your investigation. I've already made sure the poor man was well taken care of, and that's enough for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Who's in charge of purchasing materials for the construction? Mainly it's me. I pay the fees and make arrangements for delivery, but those in charge of the actual building take care of the rest. I'm not knowledgeable when it comes to the quality of stone. They had the red stone delivered from a long way off. They take care of storage as well? Yes, but usually whatever arrives is used up straight away. The construction is in full progress. Do you remember when they brought the last delivery of stone? Yes. It rained a lot that week, so they let the carriage sit right outside of the gate on the other side of the wall. It took some time before it was dry enough for further transport. And there wasn't anything strange about it? A little strange, I suppose. Usually they bring us a large block of stone, which the builders cut to size. But this time it was a number of smaller pieces. No one complained. They probably saw it as less work. I heard that you were late with your payment to the Talmberg Quarry. That's true. We ourselves had late payments, and it took some time before we gathered enough money to pay. But that's happened in the past. Good luck to you. God be with you. The overseer sent me. You're to show me the place where the accident happened. <sighs> like I've got time to spare to show you round. He should have done it himself. Why do you want to know, anyway? Because of the Talmberg stone. If they really are delivering poor quality material, then there should be consequences. I'd be interested in what kind. <laughs> but I'm guessing the Overseer likes the idea of cheaper stone, right? And have you noticed anything else going on? Of course. It's a construction site. Things are always going wrong. The men are always complaining and the work isn't being done fast enough. <laughs> so it's just like any other building work? Essentially, yes. Occasionally someone brings in bad wood or a man cuts off his thumb and blames it on a bad omen and then there's all these rumours going round. I'd be interested to know what the men talk about. Who's been stealing, which men from the monastery go to visit women, how the work's going, normal things. It's only the talk about the curse that's not in the normal run of things. And then there's that devil's skull they dug up. Who's stealing? Could someone be stealing the stone? According to the rumours, everyone, from the abbot and the custodian down to the lowest labourer. It's like with whores and dice. There's no protection against slander. And something gets lost here and there, that's true. But nobody stole any stone. There wouldn't be any left if every man here started helping himself, would there? You talked about the devil's skull. I did. 
They say it was found in the hole dug for the foundation of the scaffolding. They moved it so it would do its harm elsewhere. But I wasn't there to see it, so I don't know. And who might know more? Shouldn't you be investigating the stone? Leshek's in charge of the scaffolding, so ask him if you really have to know. He might tell you something. Where's the scene of the accident? It didn't happen on the main site. It was at the outbuilding next to the church, right under the long stairs before the entrance door. Ask my assistant who's in charge there. You'll easily recognize him. He dresses up like he owns the place. May the Lord watch over you. Must be up to no good. Sneaking around in the dark. Light at full. This has to be the stone that hit him. I'll take a piece of it. Maybe someone will recognize it.
are and good health. I could do with something to eat. Here we are. Greetings, good knight. How may I serve you? Have you got a bed for the night? Just as you ordered. I suppose I could find something. For how long? Just the one night? Sure, Here. but let's see. Enjoy it. Hmm. Are we agreed? It'll take more than that. The west of heaven. Since it's you. I don't know shit. Bring me something to eat. You'll like it here. Where do I go to sleep? On the upper floor of the inn. There are steps up to it outside. The second door. God be with you. <laughs> Hope I can be of some humble service to you. Let's go to the blacksmith. Maybe we'll make it there this time. Fine, let's go.
God be with you, good sir. I heard you found something. It's true. I dug it up during work. I then ran away with it and got rid of it so the others wouldn't see. But rumours spread anyway. And what was it that nobody was supposed to see? What do you think? A demon skull. Here, on holy ground, in the middle of the monastery. But it was outside the monastery walls. Where, exactly? Is there anything else there worth seeing? Nothing but scaffolding. We started digging there to set foundations for extending it. And are you sure it was a devil's skull? I know what I saw. I can recognise a human skull. And this one had horns. Like the devil, besides. The thing gave off a diabolical stink. And where is it now? What did you do with it? I... I was taking it down to the river to throw it in. Only I dropped it at the top of the slope and it rolled downhill. The devil alone knows where it ended up. Hmm. I'll see if I can find it. Good luck to you. <laughs>
Here. Heal. It looks genuine, but I'm not capable of judging. Yeah. One ale over here, please. Greetings, good night. How may I serve you? God be with you. Let's smell. Protective amulet. Love. Alice. 
Good men, good wives. Come have a look. Cabbage, cabbage, green cabbage. Get it before it goes brown. Come closer, my friends. Marvel at the miraculous items on offer today for a fraction of their true value. Onions that'll even make your man cry. Glad to see you. Come and buy some. I went to look for those items you wanted. Splendid! Splendid! So show me what you've got there. Have a look at these cucumbers. They'll stay firm all winter. A branch from a blessed topping out. Excellent! And how did you get it down? I had to shoot it down. Watch out for this man. He's a regular William Tell. <laughs> well, there wasn't any other way. So, we've got all that sorted out. And now, to the next matter. Garlic, onions, mushrooms and asparagus. Come right up. No need to be shy. Mate, cured and fresh. From the woods or from the pen. Mm. It all tastes Go on. delicious. I'm shaking with anticipation. There's one more thing. It's rather complicated and um, delicate. What thing? A shroud. A shroud? Yes! A burial shroud of someone who passed away not too long ago. I'm just supposed to take a dead person's clothes. Christ, no. I need a burial shroud. The precious enveloping garment in which the deceased is buried. And does it matter who I take it from? It needs to be someone who lived an honest life. And I have just the fellow. A good man by the name of Lokota who recently passed on. Cucumber. Right. So where can I find him? His family is waiting for the funeral. For now he's lying in the small church in Sasa. Garlic soup for the winter. And who was this Lokota? I know only a little, but according to the locals, he was an honorable man. You should certainly try to ask around. Come right up. It's a feast for your eyes and your stomachs. It's hard to Take resist. Care. You'll not find better meat anywhere. Vegetables, fruit, and apples.